AkronHipHop.com, the reporter of NewspaperOnline.com. It's boy Cat Israel with Yes We Can, Cat Israel's Political Adventures. Man, now, now tell me, man, exactly what this vlog, what are we doing? What's the aim on this vlog? Uh, one of my main missions is to tell the people how to be engaged in your community through volunteer uh, activities and for-profit and non-profit activities. Oh, okay. Well, well continue, brother. I, I, well, I didn't mean to interrupt to you. You know how we do. I know you know, I already know. See, one of my main goals was to show that the average citizen, you know, if you're having issues in your community as far as gun violence, health care, your premium's high, and you want to do something about it, you know, I'm trying to show steps or show a blueprint, per se, of how you can get involved in your community. So in saying that, let's get to it. All right, when I left uh, Chicago after my three-day training, uh, it, it was hard, too. They, they put it on me. It was all good, though. I wanted to give an idea of what we do in Organizer for Action. What is Organizer for Action? Because I never had a chance yet to do that, and I'm going to do that right now. So in saying that, uh, Organizer for Action is a grassroots movement and a nonprofit organization established to move forward the national agenda Americans voted for. We're talking about during the Obama era. Uh, we will advocate for these policies throughout the country and will mobilize citizens of all parties and diverse backgrounds to speak out for passage and effective implementation of these policies. We are committed to identifying and working progressive change on a range of issues on a state and local level. Key word is state and local level. Uh, we're going to tell you what we do. What we do is we organize to create jobs and strengthen the middle class, fix our broken immigration system, fight climate change, gun violence prevention, uh, the Affordable Care Act, also known as the Obamacare, protecting women's rights, uh, and pushing forward for even more issues. So I'm going to tell you the issues that I tackled during my tenure with OFA. Uh, one was climate control. Uh, we, we took steps to switch our communities to clean, cleaner energy. Uh, for the Akron area, you know, we got a lot of lakes, you know, Summit Lake, you know. And, uh, we have a unique water system in Akron, too. I don't know if everyone knows, but we have a very unique uh, water system in Akron. Uh, gun violence prevention. Uh, we take action to protect our children and communities from gun violence. You already know, Akron, you know, our rates were getting a little high lately. We're about to put them guns down now. Now, come on now. Uh, health care. Uh, we put the health and family first. We improve coverage and more choices. Uh, economy and jobs. Uh, if you work hard and play by the rules, you can build a better life for you and your family. And stand with women. We will fight for economic security, protecting access to health care, and supporting women's leadership across the country. Those are the ones that I tackled. Now, there's a couple more I'm going to say, just to be fair and balanced. Uh, one was immigration, and the other one was, uh, what was let me see, uh, marriage equality, you know, uh, gay rights, pretty much, LGBTQ rights. So we dealt with that, too. On my plate, basically, I dealt with gun violence prevention, climate control, standing with women, health care, and economy. So I'm going to go down the list, do some shout-outs real quick. You know, show you how our team structured. Uh, for one, when I at that particular time, I was a healthcare lead. So my boss was uh, Kathy Arnold Lee. May she rest in peace. Shout out to her and her family. Uh, Mary Sober, she was my other boss. Shout out to Mary Sober. Uh, my state lead, Martha Clark. You know, shout out to Martha Clark. I'm sure she's good peoples. During my tenure, I end up having a few people on my list. Now my boss out of Chicago was, you know, he said Sarah Alamini, she was executive director of OFA. Uh, Chelsea Wing uh, Chelsea Winninger. Shout out to Chelsea. I'm sure she good peoples. Tracy Wow. Uh, shout out to her. She was a community programs manager. Uh, Jennifer Warner, she was a grassroots organizing director. Uh, Ashley was Panito uh, Carson. Uh, she was a national training director. So shout out to all them uh, wonderful people that I work for. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more intel on my phone. Give me just a second. Let me see him. Uh, but I mean, I dealt with like a lot of people. You know. Oh yeah, one more thing too. 
we had 250 chapters across the nation. So our chapter was called the Summit County chapter. So we covered Akron, Ohio and Summit County, Ohio. Uh, I've interacted with other chapters within the state, uh, the uh, Calgary County chapter, uh, the Dayton chapter, and uh, shout out to them too. They did a lot, a lot of work across the state. So let's get to it. Uh, around that time, I was dealing with healthcare, as you know. So I would get covered in America. So I want to go through some things about what Get Covered America did with the Affordable Care Act. And their job was basically to operate best practices that focus on identifying, developing, and disseminating information about enrollment and eligibility policies and outreach practices that made it easy for people to sign up for health coverage, which is a big issue in my opinion. I mean, I've talked to a lot of people, like I said before in the previous vlog, I mean, there was a lot of problems with people getting health care even before Obamacare came. So Obamacare was designed to actually give a broader options for people who couldn't afford health care. Uh, we use state assistance, government affairs that provide technical assistance and outreach and enrollment efforts across the country, assist with coalition building and monitor implementation, implementation efforts and policies to, in order to inform and improve our work. Uh, national partner engagement and outreach team coordinates the efforts of our broad enrollment coalition and reaches out to key populations the trusted organization to get the word out about new coverage options as many co consumers as possible. That's me and you guys. So, I mean, we, we, we tried, we, we did our thing a little bit, nah, nah, nah. So after that, um, I ended up uh, linking up with my boss, uh, uh, Get Cover America, Matthew Caffrey. And um, I set up a little, uh, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, got brain freeze, give me a second. It was a, uh, Press conference, yeah. <laughs> I forget that. So I ended up linking up with uh, Curtis Worms from Enroll America, Miles Bell uh, from Get Covered America, uh, Paul Henry with the Rape Crisis Center. I ended up linking, him, linking up with him uh, doing domestic violence work. You know, you know shout out to Sharon Fan and uh, uh, for her great work, you know what I'm saying, in the community, in Kendall Screen, and that's her operation. So you know what I'm saying? They did a lot of great work in the city. And, uh, let me see. Y'all see me and Miles Bell, yeah. He was one of my bosses, too. So we ended up, we ended up uh, linking up for a, a press conference. It came out real well. That was like early February. So it came out good. But like healthcare is a big issue for people. And I didn't realize how much work it took to really like drive that point through to the citizens. We did a lot of groundwork on the healthcare issues. So, one of my last things I want to talk about today is uh, something that really impacted my life uh, from a citizen standpoint. I wasn't really working that day. You know, it was an issue in the city of Akron with our water and sewer problems. Um, my water and sewer bill was going high, and um, it was a case uh, from the city council that they had to deal with uh, some federal grant. And so March 3rd, 2015, there ended up being a, a meeting about it. And I ended up uh, writing a petition uh, to try to, you know, soften the blow on getting uh, some more grant funding, federal grant funding, so we can lower our bills or what have you. Um, uh, shout out to Akron City Councilman Jeff Fusco for helping me on that too. Um, and to me, I want to make sure that the people know that there's other options besides going to your uh, local government, your county government, state government. A lot of work you can do yourself, actually. You don't necessarily have to join a nonprofit organization or a for-profit organization, even though me personally, I would suggest you do because you know politics is a team sport. Community is also a team sport. And I wanna emphasize that when I'm doing this vlog, you know, I wanna emphasize just on individualism when it comes to like, your involvement in particular events. I want to make sure that the collective and the mission that you're trying to accomplish in your community actually be addressed and not just your individual work. So in saying that, you know, this uh in closing, this is Cat Israel, AcronHipHop.com, reporting newspaperonline.com, this is yes we can, Cat Israel Player Go Adventures. <laughs>